Looks like the trees are starting to change in Ireland. This is the map of uh, Clarny National Park, Muckross House and Gardens. It shows the Muckross House, which is number one, and where to get there. I don't know if the map says where we are right now. Uh, possibly. Not sure. Uh, but we're going to endeavor to do the Muckross House and look around the gardens on a beautiful day like today. And the boathouse and the gardens. And uh, it looks like there's lots and lots to see. We have a perfect photographic day, clear blue skies. So we're going to make the most of it while we can. The place is beautifully maintained. Very, very green, as they say. Lots of plants. And everything is green. And this is September 29th, 2023. Looks like an interesting adventure. Well, there's the Muckrus house. You can take a tour of the inside of the house. They don't allow videoing inside the house. And with the weather the way it is today, we may take a tour of the Muckrus house on another day when it's raining. Right now, we're going to take a look around the rest of the gardens here. This is the grassy lawn in front of the Muckrus house. And Abby. Absolutely picturesque and beautiful. Very green. There's a jaunting a car taking people around Kalani National Park. And it's that mountain range we don't know the name of yet. No, I'm not going to climb it. Quite sure about that. View of another shot of the mountain ranges and lake you can see from Muckrus House. Here. We're on the side of the Muckrus house where we have the Queen's fire escape, which is famous. That was the Queen's suite when Queen, Queen Elizabeth came in 1860 and stayed there. She insisted upon having a fire escape because she was very much afraid of fire. So they built a wrought iron fire escape. So in the event the place started fire, she could get out through the window without having to jump. She could just come down her fire escape. Now, once again, it's October, almost. A couple of two days will be October. And these are the gardens at the Muckrus estate. So far, all of this is free. Going inside is probably 10 euros or more. But it's actually a beautiful place. Very, very well maintained. Remember, this is owned by the government of Ireland. It was given to them. The gentleman who built the place, whose name I'll fill in my edit, uh, ran out of money. He assumed he'd be made a peer, have access to great wealth because of his visit with the Queen here. And he went into a lot of debt to rebuild the, the, this house and make it perfect for her arrival. Sadly, she didn't make him a peer. She must not have liked him that much. 
So in fact, he wound up having to go bankrupt, sold the place. And then ultimately in the later part of the 19th century, it was sold to Americans who were oil magnets. It was actually given as a gift from a California millionaire to his daughter on her marriage. She promptly died and her husband then donated it in the beginning of the 20th century to the government of Ireland. It is said that tourism in Ireland really began with the Queen's visit. It was her visit that inspired so many tourists to come to Clarny. And when this was made a national park, which saves a huge amount of land from development, tourism skyrocketed. This way is a walled garden, and there's some sort of coffee shop and gift shops down here too. Which we're going to take a look at now. Now, that's a rock garden. The steps, the various plants and plantings. That's a real rock garden. Here's another view of the rock garden. A little closer. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure what kind of plant that is. But they're absolutely beautiful. There's another one in the, in the background. With the mountains and the beautiful blue sky. Absolutely beautiful. Very well professionally landscaped. Now well, we can take a look at it up there here and see if we can get a different view. This is Dusty Miller, I think. Yeah, it's a little coffee shop. Or a vulture, hard to say what he is. We're going to the it looks like a muckrouse greenhouse to me. And we're going to see if we can get in. Maybe they'll let us in. Who knows? Well, we can't get in. We can peek in. Beautiful petunias here. Here. Windows are a tad dirty. We can peek in and see what's growing in here. I think I see a purple plant. Could be a purple orchid of some sort. I see some cacti over here. These look like indoor plants, probably plants they brought in already or plants they, that they have to bring in because of the temperature change. Well, we're going to see what's next on our agenda and where we're going to go in the park. It says there's an arboratorium, arboretum, and stream garden this way. People's videos that I've watched on this park. Kids apparently come out here with their bicycles from Killarney and play, go swimming, kiss and hug and do other things out here.
A lot of green. Look at the green moss on that tree. Absolutely amazing. It's the constant moisture from the Gulf Stream landing on the western portion of southwest Ireland. Look at these trees. Some uprooted, some vine covered, and a beautiful little stream. I'm not sure what these plants are, but they have huge leaves. Some of them have been broken, I guess, from the wind that we've had lately. A couple of days ago, Ag tropical storm Agnes hit, and some of these leaves probably got damaged. They're big. They're leaves that are four feet across. I don't know what kind of plant it is. Maybe on editing, I'll fill in the name. And here's the kids who come out and play here and carve their initials in the trees. Next stop, Boathouse. A view of a moored boat and in the background a mountain. We're now walking down to Talk Waterfall. This is the old boathouse nature trail and that's a really cool tree in the background now we're coming up on the boathouse this is the old boathouse and there should be some boats out here you can rent i think yep looks like it that beautiful that is absolutely beautiful sun coming sun coming through the tall trees that's that mountain I'm trying to figure out the name of it this is an open field this is absolutely beautiful national park the walk's gonna be a little longer than I thought but I walked 15 miles in Paris, so how bad can it be? Here's another view of the mountain range and the beautiful lake here. So we have about a mile to walk and then another 400 meters. Nice couple inform me to the Torque waterfall. Well, now we're approaching the final run on the Talk Waterfall. Under this little tunnel, which goes under the roadway, and then we walk up about 400 yards or 400 kilometers to the waterfall. This is quite beautiful. So at the bottom of the trail, heading up to the Torque Waterfall. It's very green. Everything is very, very green. Very, very green, and everything is covered with green moss as we work our way up. It rained a lot yesterday, so the waterfall is flowing really great today. Well, 
Well, there it is. The torque waterfall. There's the torque waterfall. Absolutely beautiful. Very strong waters today. It rained a lot yesterday. Go ahead. And there's the way back down. Whoa, the torque waterfall. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not that brave. Let's do the way back. The sun is behind us. And we're off to Ladies View. I'm going to try to get a ride on one of the jaunting cars. Which they'll take me back to my car. Which is about four miles away at Muckra's house. Well, kids, here we are at Ladies View on an almost decent day. I see some blue sky. It rained a little earlier. But you can see some blue sky which lights up the area beautifully. And I can see why the ladies like this. It's called Ladies View because in the 19th century when Queen Elizabeth I came here, her ladies-in-waiting uh, stopped here as they were going around the Ring of Kerry and thought this was such a, a beautiful spot. And they named it Ladies View and the name has stuck. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, on the other side of the road, there's supposed to be a very nice restaurant and gift shop. Absolutely beautiful day today. Glad to be here. They call this point the uh, joining of the lakes, where the two lakes meet. Because there's really three lakes linked together. It's quite beautiful here. And here are those, that's a mountain range again that I don't know the name of. Okay, kids, this is beautiful Inch Beach. Guess they measured wrong because it's Atlantic Ocean you're looking at right now. And this is Inch Beach. 